Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best budget speakers. Starting at number 5. Logitech Z906. Headphones will always be a popular choice for gamers, thanks to the built-in mics that let you talk to your teammates in online multiplayer titles. But there are times when you want to put down the headset and let the sound surround you. Enter the Logitech Z906, a 5.1 speaker system that is all business when it comes to delivering an invigorating surround sound experience. Have a ton of components? Not to fear. The Z906 Media Module allows you to line up to six of your favorite devices, ensuring you'll get blistering audio for every gaming system you own, 1000 total watts of audio, that is. Best of all, this is no regular theater in a box, as the Z906 can also tackle Dolby and DTS decoding for all of your go-to movies, TV shows, and whatever games support the two formats. While perhaps a bit too bass-heavy for some, the Logitech Z906 system is the ultimate solution for any gamer looking to ditch the headphones in favor of speaker-driven firefights. Coming at number 4. Sonos Era 100. Sonos has been around for a minute, and when it comes to Wi-Fi powered listening, it's one of the best brands in the world. For years, the Sonos Play 1 and 1 speakers were a digital trends favorite, and the only reason the previous generation is being nixed from this roundup, and discontinued from Sonos lineup, actually, is because Sonos has an all-new lineup of Wi-Fi speakers. And for our money, the Sonos Era 100 is the best networkable speaker for most folks. It all starts with the engineering and precision that has been such a staple of Sonos speakers for generations. Regardless of its small cylindrical shape, the Aero 100 pushes out an impressively large amount of sound, and that's before we get into features like automatic true play, for iOS only, a returning calibration tool that fine-tunes the era's projection based on your listening environment. One of the best additions to Sono's latest and greatest Wi-Fi speakers is the inclusion of Bluetooth as an alternative means of portable listening. Unlike the Sonos Move or Roam though, you'll need to have the Aero 100 connected to a power source at all times. We're also excited to see the return of Alexa-powered voice controls and Sono's own voice controller tool, but the lack of Google Assistant makes us a little sad. Now for the final slice of bread on the compliment sandwich, the incredible Sonos S2 app is still one of the best companion apps for controlling all your Sonos equipment, as well as streaming music to all your networked speakers. Sonos really didn't have much to fix from one generation of hardware to the next, which makes all the era's improvements and new features extra cool. The Sonos Era 100 is a world-class Wi-Fi speaker, but honorable mention goes to its bigger and Dolby Atmos-capable sibling, the $450 Sonos Era 300. At number 3. Marshall Middleton. It might be $300, but the Marshall Middleton is one of the best sounding Bluetooth speakers we've ever heard. At 4.29 inches by 9.06 inches by 3.74 inches, and with the ruggedness of the the gigging rock and roll amplifiers it's based on, the Marshall Middleton is way louder and smooth sounding than it looks while being compact enough to put in a backpack or beach bag thanks to its IP67 water and dust proof rating. With two 3-inch side firing woofers and two sets of 0.6-inch tweeters and a passive radiator firing sound out of the front and back, Marshall's true stereophonic sound is just that, stereo, which is not always easy to come by with Bluetooth speakers. It sounds great and powerful with its 220-watt amplifiers, and you can also link it up with other Marshall speakers for an even bigger sound. While the Middleton only does SBC Bluetooth, it still sounds great with any streaming service, and you can also use its AUX and port to connect an external sound source, with the help of the well-designed Marshall app. On the top of the Middleton you'll find some welcome physical controls, including a big gold button for power, track skip slash back, and volume controls, as well as treble and bass, a Bluetooth pairing button, and a battery indicator button that lights up an LED battery level display. Oh, you can also use the Middleton to charge your devices, too. The Middleton features an ample 20-hour battery, which bests many of its competitors such as the JBL Pulse 5 and even the Sonos Move 2. If you think you might need a Bluetooth speakers with a bit more power and additional features such as Wi-Fi connectivity, 
As well as some old-school aesthetics, the slightly larger JBL 300 Authentics is another excellent choice. Number 2 of my list. Canto Aura. There's no rule that says that your office desk or PC gaming setup shouldn't have absolutely killer sound, even if you don't have a lot of space for big speakers. The Canto Aura reference desktop speakers are perfect for listening to music when you work, especially if that work involves mixing music or editing sound in videos. As reference speakers, the Canto Auras offer up precise, accurate sound with a flat frequency response that adds no color to the sound, meaning the music sounds just as it was recorded. And when I reviewed the Auras, they delivered, their sound is crystal clear, with particularly dynamic and beautiful mids and high frequencies that never fatigue the ears. And while the low frequencies of the Auras are full and rich on their own, especially for a set of speakers no larger than a small box set of DVDs, adding a subwoofer through their built-in output elevates the sound of these tiny speakers, each with a 3 quarters inch silk dome tweeter and a 3 inch woofer, to the truly remarkable. The Canto Auras feature all the key inputs needed for a range of connectivity, including RCA line-in for a turntable or other analog sources, USB-C for a computer connection capable of up to 16-bit slash 48 kHz playback, and Bluetooth, although, just SBC. At $350, the Canto Auras seem a bit pricey, but their 100 peak Class D watts of power, 50 watts of bi-amplified power per speaker, and their pristine sound quality make them well worth the price. And number one. Hue Acoustics M20 HD Powered Wireless Music System The way we listen to music and other audio is changing and will continue to change, as consumers explore formats like vinyl records and lossless audio streaming service, and even integrate their TV and movie watching experiences with their sound systems and setups. Component audio systems are great, but they can be expensive and complicated. More desktop solutions, like the Q Acoustics M20 Bluetooth speakers, are going well beyond basic Bluetooth speakers to offer a more complete music system, as we discovered when reviewing them. Sure, they're a great set of desktop speakers, but with a ton of connectivity options, including RCA, optical Toslink, USB, 3.5mm AUX, and Aptex HD Bluetooth for high resolution streaming at 24-bit slash 48 kilohertz, and some innovative digital processing that lets you tell the speakers where they're being set up, in a corner, against a wall, the M20s are easily one of the most versatile and configurable sets of powered speakers that can serve a variety of sound functions. Connected to a TV, computer, turntable, DVD player, you name it, the M20s sound big, clear, and dynamic, no matter what you play through them. The only area we found could use a little help was the low end, which could easily be remedied by adding a subwoofer, there's a sub-out port, too. Well worth the $600 price tag. If you like the look and the features of the M20S but think you might need something bigger and louder, Q Acoustics recently launched the $999 M40 powered tower speakers as well. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.